Hello, grade nine. This is Ms. Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe, and sound. In this tutorial, I will discuss the material included for week number 17, starting with the first day of this week, the 19th. Uh, on this day, we are going to finalize the speech by Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream, making this lesson part four of its analysis. So on this day, we are going to work on specific paragraphs from 26 to 41. We are going to focus on analyzing uh, the highlighting essential rhetorical devices uh, through words and phrases that reflect the primary themes and symbols, of course. And we will discuss these questions together. Uh, of course, you have the interactive activity number two, leading ideas to aid you while you are working on these questions, along with tutorials and the primary website that includes um, aiding tips or aiding information um, that would support your analysis. Now, on the following day of this week, which is the 20th, uh, we are going to start with writing a descriptive essay. Uh, on this day, we are going to introduce or to define the meaning of a descriptive essay. We're going to talk about its components, and then we are going to explain how the layout, the layout of this specific uh, essay writing, and immediately you will start uh, drafting and then writing your introductory paragraphs. Now, of course, uh, if we want to talk about the essential key terms, we have descriptive essay, sensory language, figurative language, introduction, and thesis statement. On this page, you have the PPT on descriptive essay writing. It includes everything that we are going to discuss in reference to the overview. Um, in this block, you have techniques uh, on descriptive writing, such as uh, sensory language and emotive language appeal to emotions. You have um, tips like choosing the right words while writing and trying to be to stay sub uh, object, sorry, subjective. Uh, using the right useful figurative language, and I specified them for you, like simile, metaphor, personification, anamtopia, hyperbole, idioms, and so on. Um, of course, in interactive activity number one block, you will have the overall layout of descriptive essay. Exactly. You need to go through them in steps, in a chronological order. Um, now, of course, the first thing that you need to do is to brainstorm the topic that you choose for your essay writing. You can choose um, either a person, a place, a thing, or a situation you want to write about. Um, you also have um, an interactive activity number two, uh, steps uh, that will help you build your introductory paragraphs, like hooking the readers, building your thesis statement, and describing your thesis statement, providing a description. Of course, you have examples here, samples for thesis statements uh, and for the introductory paragraphs to aid you. Now, on the following day, you need to be you need to be done with your introductions, so you can start with the body paragraphs, body paragraph one, two, and three. Um, of course, here you have exactly how to uh, to outline instructions and on how to outline your body paragraphs. Um, <clears throat> usually in the body paragraphs of a descriptive essay you need to start with the least important uh, uh, point uh, followed by the next least important point and finally the most important, po uh, important point um, now of course in interactive activity number two um, I tell you exactly how to build your body paragraphs including the topic sentence, detail sentences, and conclusion sentences. Sentence. Uh, basically, you need to follow the PEEL model, uh, which provides point, evident explanation, and link. Of course, you have also samples for the body paragraphs. Now, on the following day, you are going to finalize, in class, finalize your body paragraphs and start with your conclusions course in interactive activity number one you have exactly what you need to include or how to write a successful conclusion paragraph okay and of course you have a sample you have a sample 
uh, of a conclusion paragraph. Now, on the last day of this week, we are going to start with a new grammar topic titled Fragments and Run-ons. Uh, as for the essential keywords, we have clauses, dependent, independent conjunctions, main clause, complex sentences, and so on. Along with tutorials to aid your understanding, we are going to work on specific interactive activities and practice questions. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.